Even though GPS navigation is so prevalent, we still need to learn navigation by pilotage and dead reckoning. A big part of that are landmarks to use as visual checkpoints. Paul, think back three months ago when you were planning your long cross country. What kind of landmarks did you pick? I was going from Frederick to Johnstown to Cumberland to Frederick, so I knew I'd have a couple ridges I'd be passing, and I knew I'd have the Hagerstown Airport at Beamy, so I chose that, and then I started counting ridges, and I knew at that point, hopefully, the wind farms near Johnstown would come into view, and they did. So it sounds like it all worked out well for you. Yeah, having the visual landmarks to use to be able to keep track of where I was going, in addition to the magenta line and the four flight and the flight following and everything else I had, the visual checkpoints are a really good tool to have. They are. The landmarks we think will be easy to spot from 3,000 feet aren't always that great. Paul and I are going to show you some good landmarks and some not so good landmarks. Be careful when picking a body of water as a landmark. It should be distinctive. Lake Marburg in southern Pennsylvania has a unique shape and two bridges that cross it, which can help distinguish it from other lakes in the area. The Susquehanna River is hard to miss and clearly what you're looking for. Frederick's Lake Linganore, on the other hand, is hard to find and not that distinct. Here on the East Coast, train tracks can be hard to spot. Sometimes they're overgrown or hard to pick out amongst the clutter of roads and buildings. We lucked out on this flight in that there were boxcars parked along a siding, making it stand out. Now out west you'll have better luck because there's not as much rolling terrain and trees around a lot of the train tracks and in fact it goes back to one of the early idioms of flight, IFR, I follow railroads. Airports make great landmarks, just so long as you're not trying to spot a tiny private airstrip. Here's Maryland's Carroll County Airport, pretty easy to see. Now, tell me where in this orchard is Boggers Airport? It's on the sectional. It has to be there, somewhere. How about some visuals that are surprisingly easy to spot? Like the cement plant? That is a Frederick favorite. It's about 14 nautical miles north of the airport and clearly visible from pattern altitude. Power plants are usually good markers too. They're often situated on rivers. Just remember not to fly too low over a power plant. So be open to things you might not have considered. And don't be surprised if something you thought would be a good landmark doesn't work out.